Right, here we have a 2011 Audi A8 4.2 Quattro in beautiful blue SC um, executive spec I believe keyless door, keyless entry with a beautiful cream interior never mind the tissues there that'll be fully validated and cleaned before it goes this car's got um, heated and power and blind spot marker door windows and See, you've got your controls there, you've got storage underneath there, so now we'll clean that later. We've also got night vision, fog lights, rain sensor, adapted sensor, whatever the hell that is. You've got automatic lights, you've got timer for your lights as well. We've got, well, full power steering, with cruise control, what well, doesn't actually work at the minute. Paddle shifts indicators are there, everything all works on it. The heated steering wheel as well on this one. This car's it's got the keyless start as well of it, so you just press a button here and it locks. And the MMI system comes to life. The car's got 77,255 miles on it. Turn the music off for a minute. It's got the um, so you can make it into a phone. You've got the um, MI system so you can watch a DVD in this. This does have TV in it as well. You can come, you've got the full reversing camera there. I should do this here. And you press that there. And that will go to reverse. You also can switch it as well. Oh, no. Hang on. I find the button. There's a button around here somewhere where you can change the lines on it. Somewhere, it's in that top corner there. You can find the button around here somewhere. It's somewhere around here, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere around here, let's just say that, anyway. So, you've got a reverse camera on it, which is clear. Everything works on it. The engine sounds good. So, you yeah, so can hear it from here. Sounds absolutely good, it does. Goes fine. And it starts first time every time you've got your controls here. Just got through some of them there. You've got digital speeder which you can replace that with different stuff. Yeah, that's that one there, isn't it? Turn the car there. And you can change it from there. It tells you if some doors when the doors are open. Also your seatbelts the lights are there, so it tells you as well the degrees outside. Oh yeah, it's got digital radio in it, as well as FM. So your phone stuff there, your compass there on it, your full gauge is there. Now push that up, go for the um, MMI system now. Go back, so we've got the phone connected everything there. You've got the car stuff there, where you can raise and lower the car, set the car to your Pacific, so I mean I've got it in comfort, dynamic. I'm not going to press that button there, go to individual, click on it. No, I'm not on there. There we go, we've got the engine gearbox, so you can do all that seatbelt tension and stuff, adapt the steering, adapt the suspension, and how, it, how, how, how hard it rides. You've also got your vehicle settings for the inside, you've got your seatbelt, exterior light, background lights, which are just these lights inside the cabin as well so they've got that little lights in the door lights come down there all lights up there in it lights are around here all light all up you can change it there brightness color platforms on it as well turn them off for now we don't need them on essential locking driving door and lock air suspension if you want to put a trailer on it driver Assist parking area, there it is. You know, there's somewhere in here. So, you've got all your sensor stuff there. Night vision assist, one turns and all that lot. The night vision does work on it, and I've used it, and it does help quite a lot, believe it or not. You've also got your anti guidance system and early warning, so the car will break fire. But, so you've got your side assist there. The bites on it there, you can see it. 
so how that all works. You get your rain sensors, your AC control. Also, when it's in summer and you leave the car alone, it's got some solar panels on the sunroof. This is have a full power roof on it, which is up there with a beautiful suede interior. Well, headlining, should I say? So you can um, adjust the temperature and all. So it'll allow you um, to do that if it's warm or cool. So when you can sell it to warm and keep the car warmer without draining too much of the battery. You've also got the paddle, you know, the little marker button there if you want to do that sort of stuff. You get service check all there, temperature stuff, you get tyre initials with keys, got number three, but I've only got two keys of this, so it'll be lost at some point. You got your your yeah, it's just the, that number there. Change position wipers off there. Seven so all, all level check. I mean that's not on at a minute because as you can see the engine's running, it's not warmed up yet properly. And also if you do get a um, a message on as well, this little top tip, a little um tire pressure sensor message there. Just go into here and go into service and go to tire pressure monitoring systems and just reset it and it will knock it off. Because oh, now, now and again the, the tires will lose a bit of pressure and it will give a false reading of it all. So, so we've done all that. And also we've got, we've got Audi Connect, got your tones, you've got your radio, you've got your media, you've got your sat nav and all. You've got your car information. Obviously hasn't been wrapped out yet. You've got your smooth, your radio, you've got FM, high frequency, low, like that. When you get onto the TV, you, do, you go down there, you press this one here, go to radio. No, oh, that one there is it. No, oh, that one there is it either. No, oh, that one there is it. Somewhere around here. Uh, oh, where was it now? How's it on the other one? Might be actually on. Um, God, that might be on media actually, if I remember. Yeah, it's on media. So uh, it says SD card there. And that one there. There we go. Uh, Shadow of the Forest. Ah, there we go. The TV tune. So you're going to backtrack a minute. So go to your media. Press this top button here. It'll bring up that menu there. And scroll it down. It says. TV input in the load and you've got TV which fully works. This <laughs> is absolutely brilliant. Go on, now watch TV. Should you wonder why I'm getting rid of this car if I've got all this stuff on it? And then so you can cut your phone through there. Oh, back that out. You've got your tone settings there, your radio, you've got your heated and ventilated and cool seats, which is absolutely brilliant, believe me. You've also got your fans, or your, your heated uh, mirror and screen, and also as well in winter, I've recently found that's got some called a super heater on it, so you press that button there to go to the fan, then bike it all up, up to 12, so you go on there. Go to that one there. And up to, fan, up to number 12, and also on the frosty morning, if it's all frozen all over, it will pretty much will um, clear within a few minutes. So you don't have to do no ice scraper on it, and I can guarantee you that. So I've actually got a video of it as well. Also, you've got a dip mirror when you in reverse, but well, that only works when you've got it in that position there, or well, in that position there, shall I say. So when you reverse, it's got auto dip on it. So you've got your garage connect link up there. Some move for all works, sunglasses holder, or some sunglasses. The camera doesn't come with the car. You've got your mirrors, beautiful suede, beautiful interior. So you've got your storage there, memory seats there. These are full massage seats as well. So you press a button at the side down here, that one there, and it will come up with massaging. So they all fully works, all beautifully. You've got your glove box, which is holding stuff. 
You've got your double armrests, you've got your so you've got your parking brake there, you've got your auto one on the move, two cup holders, cigarette lighter, in this car you do have three of them. There's one here and two in the back. You've also got some water, um, some waterproof mats at the minute, which are currently in it, which are protecting the ones underneath, which I would highly recommend that. Capital towel underneath, let's have a look. There we go, capital towel underneath there, they're all in good condition. So you've got the side storage there. You've got underneath here, you've got your connector there for stuff. Underneath here, yeah. you've got your connector stuff there. And so you can connect your another USB if you want to add that one in. So you've got two USB connectors. So it comes with two keys, leather dash, absolutely beautiful condition. So you've got your, your keys here, which are good. You've got your nice leather stitch dash. So you've, you've got a heat steering wheel, which is really brilliant, beautiful. The stereo system. You've got in the back, privacy glass, ashtrays, which I've never ever been used once, so it's a smoke free car. Drives beautifully, all power thing. You've got a nice lovely suede insert there, with a nice metal and wood. Finish off with a bit of all this top quality stuff, as usual. The balls sound system, which sounds good. So this has been used as a family car, but it's been kept absolutely immaculate. You've got your armrest down here. Stuff goes in there. All in good condition. You've also got your medical kit there, which is still all there. Originally from Audi. Prefer where to find these days, are yeah. So you've got your other two um, cigarette lights as well. You've actually got three of them. You've got two, um, well, you've got... Well, let's read this up now, actually. So you've got your nice lovely piece there, trim there, nice lovely trim there, your speaker system there, air vents there, back lights here, which you can control from the front, beautiful there, this beautiful suede, it is it really, it is really nice suede, it really is. You've got two 12 volt outlets there, two so like this, one here, one there, one's being currently used to power a camera, which I wouldn't recommend you having. Got storage there, which doesn't hold really know much purpose anymore these days, I must admit. Beautiful cream interior, being now looked after. You've got UV wear protection, you've got co hooks there, and then you've got good sound, good sound from exhaust, which is absolutely beautiful. Reverse camera, as I mentioned, you've got full auto automatic lights, and that won't work now, the keys inside. You've got quite a good boot size. We'll never mind the mess of the boot in a minute. So you've got your cut bag hooks there on it. So all this will be completely cleaned out and full of thing. You've got a space saver spare underneath here. All there. You've got your jack. You've got your warning triangle there. You've got some more storage in from there for a um, umbrella. Power boot. That goes down. Good wheels on it, with good tyres, beautiful car it is. There's only two problems with this car, which I've stated, which is the passenger door can be a bit funny sometimes, a bit temperamental, but man, I most things in life are temperamental these days, I suppose. And the cruise control, those are the only two things which do not, well, well I promise I've got the car like that anyway. It's got LED lights on it, and at all park front and rear parking sensors. So you've got your night vision coming in there, as I've got some, oh no, actually, the, the camera. Let's have a look, so the lights are on. And uh, there's night vision. On a minute, I need to shut the door, don't I? So we've got the night vision there, see? Night vision on. Beautiful. Also, in winter, this car really does warm up pretty quick. It is absolutely fantastic in winter, I must admit. So you've got dual climate control, I say you can move the car up and down. Go back into that, I didn't show up there, did I? So you just press that button there. So you press that one there, and you've got arrows, what well, raise it up. So the car will go up a tiny bit, I can feel it going up now. And you can raise it down again, and back up again. So it's got all that. Very good thing, drives absolutely beautiful. Look at the clutch oil system, so it's absolutely fantastic in the snow. Goes through anything good for if you're just going on down the road. As I say, you've got your locks all there, 
more beautiful suede there on the door, which is absolutely nice. So let's have a look underneath the bonnet. So we've done that. 4.2 V8, so that one there. I'll leave that open actually. Never, as a top tip, never ever shut the door for keys inside. And you've got your, your 4.8 V8 TDI. 365 great horsepower, top, I'm not quite sure, but two air filters, one there, one there, but I bought the car, the car was serviced, but it's showing a message on the dash where it needs to service another 5,000 miles apparently, but for the mileage I've done on it, I got it at 73, I think it was, now on 77, so I've not really done that much miles on it, so in a 